Hi everyone, I'm Alad Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down The Shade by Rex Orange County. It goes just like this. Alright, so for this first part, I'm going to break down the intro, the verse, and also the pre-chorus. We're playing here in the key of F. And for the chords, we're going to start on the fourth degree, playing B flat major 7. So on my left, I have B flat and F. Right hand, A, D, and F. So that's the major 7th the major third, and then the fifth on top. Then I'm going to use the same voicing on the one chord, F major seven. F and C on the left, E, A, and C. And then I'm going to continue with D minor seven, D and A on the left, C, F, and A, right hand, so that's the seventh, the minor third, and the fifth. Going down on this, C major, C and G, C and E, and then again, B flat major seven, now using this voicing. So that's the same chord as before, but here I'm playing an inversion of the notes on my right hand. So those are the same notes, but this A is played up here. Okay, so B flat and F, D, F and A. And after that, we're going to finish with this. I'm playing B half diminished. That's B and A on the left with D and F right hand. Okay, perfect. That's all for the chord. Now let's take a look at the playing pattern. It goes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm starting with this back and forth between B flat and F major seven. So I'm playing this. So to decompose it, I'm playing B flat first on the first beat. So the bottom note on my left alone. And then I'm going to play the bottom two notes on my right hand. So that's A, D, and F. The bottom two notes are A and D. Okay, so bottom note on the left, bottom two notes on the right hand, followed by the top note on the left, and then all the notes on my right hand. Like this. So that's the pattern we're going to use. Now let's count. After four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. So I'm going to play that for two measures over the same chord. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Then I'm going to do the same over F. 
one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. So again, the bottom note first, the bottom two notes on the right hand, the top note on the left, and then all the notes on the right hand. One and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. Then to finish the intro, we're simply going to replay what we just played. One and two and three, four. 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 All right, now we can move on to the verse and the good news is that we're simply going to replay the entire pattern of the intro. So the back and forth between B flat and F. Okay, and then after that, we have the pre-chorus. And here we're going to use new chords. So, I'm starting on D minor 7, then I'm going to C, then B flat major 7, back up on C. And here's the playing pattern. Just like we did for the intro and verse, I'm going to play the bottom note on D minor. So bottom note on the left, then bottom two notes on the right hand, top note on the left, and then all the notes on the right hand, C, F, and A. One and two and three, four. And then over C, I'm going to start playing this. Bottom note on the left, then I'm going to play C sus4 resolving to C major. So C and F, and then C and E. So one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. So here I'm not using the tap note on the left just yet. I'm going to do that afterwards. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Then we have the other voicing of B flat major seven. Still using the same pattern here. So bottom note first on the left. Bottom two notes on the right hand, and now the bottom two notes are D and F, then top note on the left, followed by all the notes on the right hand. One and two and three, four. Now we're back on C playing this. So everything is the same on the right hand, but on the left, I played the bottom note just like I did before followed by C and F right hand. And just after that, I'm playing a quick F on my left. And when I'm going to be playing C and E on my right hand, my left hand going to join with G. So the tap note. So again from D minor, one and two and three. Four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. So that's the first part of the pre-chorus. Then we're going to continue with the same thing we played. So D minor, the first pattern of a C, and finish with this, B half diminished. So notice when I'm playing the B chord, I'm not playing all the notes at the same time. I'm sort of rolling the chord from bottom to top, like this. Okay, and then to finish the section, I'm going to go one octave higher and play A, F, and then finishing with D. One and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's replay the pre chorus one more time. After four. One, two, three, four. One and two and 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 three. Now play B. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then just after that, we're starting the chorus that we're going to see in part two. For now, let's recap. That's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.